What if I told you that everything you thought you knew about gasoline and electric vehicles or EVs was totally wrong? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a thrilling ride into the surprising facts about which vehicle type, electric or gas, actually pollutes more. And trust me, the answer might just blow your mind. Whether you're a diehard petrol head or a passionate EV advocate, get ready to challenge your assumptions and see things from a new perspective. When you're trying to choose between an EV or a gasoline car, you've probably asked yourself, which one is really better for the environment? Some skeptics have argued that EVs aren't as green as they seem because they rely on electricity, which can come from coal or other fossil fuels. And they've got a point, to an extent. But if we want to know the real answer, we've got to dig deeper. It's time to look at the entire life cycle of both types of vehicles, from the moment the raw materials are pulled out of the ground to the day the vehicle is finally retired and scrapped. Only by understanding this full picture can we see which option truly makes a difference for our planet. Let's start with gasoline cars, since they've been around the longest and feel like the familiar trusty choice. Sure, everyone knows that gasoline cars emit pollution when they burn fuel, but did you realize that that's only the tip of the iceberg? The real pollution story begins way before the gasoline reaches your car. Think about how we get oil out of the ground in the first place. Those oil rigs, whether onshore or offshore, don't just magically pump oil, but use enormous amounts of energy to do it. Picture those iconic pump jacks tirelessly bobbing up and down across oil fields in Texas or California. Each one is guzzling energy, enough to charge millions of EVs every single month. And offshore drilling? Even more intense. Those oil rigs miles away from shore run on diesel generators that burn through tons of fuel, spewing out greenhouse gases from the start. And that's just the beginning. Extraction sites often cause additional environmental damage, like habitat destruction and oil spills. Once the oil is out of the ground, it's got to be transported. How? About 70% of the world's oil flows through a vast network of pipelines stretching over 337,000 miles, long enough to circle the globe over a dozen times. These pipelines aren't pollution-free. They require energy-hungry pump stations and are prone to leaks and spills that wreak havoc on ecosystems. And when it's not in pipelines, oil is shipped across oceans in massive tankers that burn some of the dirtiest, most sulfurous fuel on the planet. Just moving oil from one place to another is responsible for 10% of global shipping emissions. Plus, the infrastructure required for these transport systems can disrupt communities and wildlife habitats along their routes. Now, let's talk refining. Refining crude oil into gasoline is a process that guzzles energy and belches pollution. It involves heating crude oil to insanely high temperatures, sometimes up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 420 degrees Celsius to separate it into different components. That takes a staggering amount of energy, and guess what? All that energy is converted into pollution, tons of sulfur dioxide and other nasty chemicals released into the air. These refineries are some of the biggest sources of pollution in big cities and they're a serious health hazard for people living nearby. Fun fact, people who live close to refineries often suffer from higher rates of lung disease and other health problems. Maybe not such a fun fact. Even more concerning, the pollutants from refineries can travel long distances, impacting air quality in areas far from their source. And finally, let's not forget the internal combustion engine, or ICE, itself. The engines in gasoline cars are notorious for their inefficiency. About 70% of the fuel energy goes straight to waste as heat, leaving only 30% to actually move your car. Combine that with all the pollution from oil extraction, refining and transport, and gasoline cars start looking like a pretty bad deal for the environment. The more fuel you burn, the more CO2 and harmful particles get released into the atmosphere, further contributing to climate change and air quality issues. So, what about electric vehicles? Are they the shining green alternative they're made out to be, or is there more to the story? Let's take a look. For starters, EVs bypass the entire messy process of oil extraction, refining, and transport. The main environmental concern with EVs is the electricity used to charge them. True, some of that electricity might still come from coal or natural gas plants, but even then, EVs are way more efficient. While a gasoline car loses about 70% of its energy to heat, 
An EV converts over 85% of the electricity from the grid into motion. So, even if an EV is charged with coal-powered electricity, it's still more efficient and less polluting overall than a gasoline car. Plus, advancements in battery technology and charging infrastructure are continually improving EV efficiency and accessibility. Critics often point out that power plants emit pollutants like sulfur dioxide. But here's the thing, power plants are usually far from cities, so they're not directly impacting human health the way car exhaust does. Plus, the energy grid is getting greener by the day. In the US, 40% of electricity is already carbon-free thanks to renewables like wind, solar, and hydropower. And that number is climbing. In Europe, the numbers are even better. Around 56% of electricity comes from green sources. As renewable energy continues to grow, EVs will only become more environmentally friendly. The shift towards greener energy means that the carbon footprint of driving an EV will continue to shrink, making them an even smarter choice for the future. But what about the batteries? Yes, making EV batteries requires mining for materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. And mining isn't exactly pretty. It has its own environmental footprint for sure. But when you compare it to the non-stop environmental impact of oil extraction, refining, and transport, it's clear which one does more damage over time. Additionally, many companies are investing in sustainable mining practices and exploring alternatives that minimize ecological harm. And there's more good news. EV batteries don't just die after their car life, they can be repurposed for energy storage, giving them a second life. Plus, they're recyclable. Recycling can recover valuable materials, cutting down on the need for new raw materials and reducing overall environmental impact. Contrast that with gasoline, which is burned once and gone forever, leaving nothing but pollution behind. Efforts are also underway to improve battery recycling technologies and create closed-loop systems that further reduce waste. When you take a step back and look at the whole picture, from the moment raw materials are extracted through manufacturing usage and eventual disposal, it's clear that electric cars are a greener choice than gasoline cars. Gasoline cars involve inefficiency and pollution at almost every step. From the energy consumed in pumping oil from the ground to the emissions released during refining and transport. And finally, the huge energy losses when it's burned in the car. The direct emissions of conventional vehicles, especially older models, are relatively high, while EV emissions are much lower, especially when charged with renewable energy. And as renewable energy continues to become more prevalent, this gap will only widen in favor of EVs. If you're standing at a crossroads wondering which type of vehicle to choose, think beyond just the pollution you can see. Consider the hidden costs, the things happening behind the scenes that affect our planet in ways we don't always notice. Look past the tailpipe and think about the entire chain of events that makes a car move. When you do, the choice between gasoline and electric vehicles might be more obvious than you first thought. Remember, choosing an EV is not just about the future of your driving experience, but also about contributing to a healthier, more sustainable world. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the EV versus gas debate, make sure to check out our other videos below for more surprising comparisons and hot topics. The world is changing, and it's time we change with it, one decision at a time.